G'day Aussies, welcome to Big Brother Friday Night Live, where tonight we celebrate the lucky country, Australia. Holding the ball! He's too high! He's too high! Trying to get rid of it! Too high! We've got three Sheilas and two blokes ready to have a fair dinkum crack at tonight's games, and won't they be stunned mullets when they see what Big Brother has in store? It's it, what's your favourite thing about being Australian? Mate! 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 Mate. Uh, this is Big Brother Friday Night Live. Uh. <laughs> Welcome to Big Brother Friday Night Live, the weekly show that's as important to the housemates as zinc is to a cricket player's schnoz. As you heard, tonight's theme is all about Australia. And crikey, has Big Brother lined up some Aussie icons to feature in tonight's games? With me is a man who makes Paul Hogan look like a pom, Ryan Fitzy Fitzgerald. I don't know about that. Paul Hogan's a dead set legend. He is. A bit of a dedication to him later on yes. tonight on the show as well. And our own bush beauty, the lovely Brie Aimer. You're so lucky you said beauty then. What do you think I was going to say? Beast? Pig. Bush pig. I would never. <laughs> oh. As if I would do that. How you guys pull up after last week? Where you been? What have you been up to? Yeah, not too bad, Mikey. I actually went up to Byron last weekend and relaxed at Splendour in the Grass, the music oh. festival. Wanted to go to that, but I had to go to Melbourne to do uh, a bit of a thing with Glenn and Michelle at, at Twister down there. It's a so great festival. I went and saw my favourite band, Block Party, at the moment and got to meet a few of the bands, Queens of the Stone Age. It was just a great weekend, so awesome. I'm very happy, happy with that. Excellent. Yeah. How's Nova going all right? Yeah, excellent. Doing excellent. very, very well. What about you, Bree? Where you been? Um, I've been here on the coast. I've been flat out this week, actually, doing Lying lots of work. Lying on the beach? Work. No, I've been working all week. Lying on the beach? Doing a bit of stylist work. And on I, the beach? Actually, do you know what? I had something funny happen this week. I went to the Greek festival here on the coast yeah. on Sunday and was doing the Zorba and someone stood on the hem of my um, pants oh. and dacked me. <laughs> oh. in, in front, in front of me. at the Greek festival. 15,000 people. <laughs> no. <laughs> How bad is that? It always seems to happen to you, though, Bri. I know. I have this walking target for accidents. Oh, right, well, let's get the ball rolling for tonight's show. Of course, as usual, tonight's winner scores three pri prizes. Bree, tell us the Pri first prizes. one. Prizes. Yes, they do. Well, of course, it's... Um, no, I'm going to talk about the chores, actually. Is mm. that all right? Yeah, the, the household chores. And, of course, there's ramifications of it. Like we've seen this week, mm -hmm. um, Kate was actually the shopper chef, but they had their food taken off them twice at dinner this week because Vesna just couldn't keep her hands off it. And, of course, she's not allowed to. Yeah. She's been tasting it. And, and Kate did go for a run around the backyard when she was supposed to be cooking dinner. And a bit of drama last night mm. as well because... Uh, Kate and everyone thought, oh, wow, we've done our movie. Now, now Big Brother's going to give us a party. They thought they were getting dinner made for them, but ah, no dinner. And didn't she have a tantrum? And Tim, he's, a, he's the household chores man this week, and he's been making the beds. He's been so perfect and Sadie, precise. Sadie, the cleaning lady. Yeah, Timmy, and it's funny, usually all the housemates absolutely hate the chores, but Tim's declared the war on filth. He even yes. wants to write to George Bush and see if he can help out. It's a war that he will never win, no. Mike. It's, it's a tough uh, game, the old filth yeah, game. Not and in that I'll tell house. you what, he'll never win it. Tell us about the second filthy part of the Big Brother Prize tonight. Would you like tonight. me to tell you about the rewards room, would yes, you, Mike? please do. OK, the world-famous rewards room. Have a look at it here. The bed, the oh. bath, gourmet food. Hey, those chairs. Can, They're new chairs. You, oh, look, a pair... A pair of rubber thongs, Lamington's there. We've got nice. a couple of Aussie icons, Bruce Reed, Richard nice. Tenberg. They vibrate, those Brian chairs. Mannix is in there. That's and weird. as you know, last week, Timmy won it, guys. Mm -hmm. And he had the luxury of got, he got his laundry done, yeah. Yeah. which is gold in the house. How Let me give that? you the hot tip. But he also got a video message. Now, he had oh. the choice of looking at it himself or giving it off to, some, or so, giving it off to somebody else. Mm -hmm. Have a look what he did. <laughs> I don't get it. What's laundry service? This is fantastic. It means what we get a good washing done for us. You're allowed to keep the message for yourself or you may give it to any other housemate. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. That makes it a bit harder. Look, 
I'm going to um, give the video message to Kate. Your decision is final. You are to inform Kate of your decision now. I know how much you wanted the family message, so and I was able to give it to someone else. I gave it to you. No, you haven't. And I, no, you haven't. No, I have. I have. I have. No, I have. Tim, don't. I want to lie. I want to lie. And, and I have. I have done that. No, Tim, I don't want to. I really, really don't. I don't want you to do this to me. But I already have. <sighs> yeah, I know you enjoy. That's really, really huge. Yeah, there you go. Something she really, really wanted from someone who she didn't really, really want. And what was that? I, I can't believe you. Or I don't want you to do this to me. What is that? I, I really Rather think... Rather than for me. Yeah, I really no, think she just means, didn't want to be obligated to yes, owe him anything. Like, that's right. And I think it puts the pressure on her a bit more, everyone thinking that she's going to do something with Timmy, and it puts more pressure on her when he does stuff like this. Well... Yeah, speaking of pressure, the third, and some would say the biggest and most massive punch, it's the three-point rule, where the winner can take three nomination points of any of the nominees. But this is the last time that we'll see the three-point nomination twist in the house this year. Look what happened when Tim flicked his three-point deduction at Greg and put his heartthrob Kate in the eviction frame. Watch little Timmy's face here. The housemates facing eviction this week are Logan Greg and Melanie and Vesna. Tim, who do you choose to deduct three points from and potentially save from eviction? I choose Logan Gregg. One of you has been saved. The new nominees are... Vesna. Kate. And Melanie. And Vesna. And Vesna. Oh, it's so evil. Those microphones picking up his heartbeat. <laughs> They're good, aren't it's they? Amazing. He I... was so devastated. He he's given Kate the video message a couple of days earlier, and he thinks, "Yes, I'm in a good books." And then, uh oh, I've given the three point twist to Greg, and Kate sucked up into the nomination process. He wouldn't be a good poker player, would he? He'd look on his face was I priceless. Know. And I must say, not that I know and have guys throwing themselves at me all the time, but yeah, right. No, <laughs> in in that situation in the house, it would really suck. Stop it. He's pulling faces behind you. <laughs> Oh, oh, sorry, sorry I wasn't doing face. anything, Breezy. He's picking sorry. on me. Yeah, no, 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 no. It would really suck in that house to have someone like throwing themselves at you like that and not be able to walk away from it like you would in a normal day life because it would just be really uncomfortable. And Kate can't really get a restraining order on him because, you know, not Yeah, room, I tried man. on Fryzy when we were in there and it didn't work. Oh, <laughs> oh did you really? Yeah. 100 metres away from someone, that'd be hard in the house. <laughs> I'd have to be at one end, you'd have to be at So the you'd stop making me cry. Yeah. Well, <laughs> stay put. Because we're about to throw our housemates on the FNL Barbie. You're watching Big Brother Friday Night Live. What's been your favourite moment in the Friday Night Games? Favourite moment of the Friday Night Games? Um. 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 Um, um, Do you have a favourite moment? <sighs> um, um, um. What is your favourite moment from Friday Night Games? Big Brother needs an answer immediately. Um, 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 uh, oh, um, uh, um, 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 well, well, um. But, um... Um... <clears throat> um... Well, I don't know. Uh, winning? <laughs> um... I'm, I'm um, <coughs> really disappointed with that. I no. thought Friday Night Live meant a lot more to the house more than um, that. That's no. ridiculous. Mm. Well, welcome back to Friday Night Live, Big Brother Friday Night Live. Tonight we're celebrating... The fair dinkum, you beaut, Aussie culture of Australia. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie! I'm Mike Goldman and... Or Aussie Mike Goldman. Joined by our own Outback Jack, Ryan Fitzgerald, Fitzy, and our own resident Jillaroo, Briema. What's a Jillaroo? It's like a girl jackaroo. Jackaroo, yeah. 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 Mm. yeah. All right, well, we're down to just five housemates and winning the right to take three points off might mean you get to stay until the very end, so they'll all definitely want to win. But some of them have got Buckley's due to injury. Fitzy has the Ducks' guts. <laughs> Ah. 
crook contestant number one is Greg. Greg is suffering from what we in the medical trade class as glutton disease. Basically, he's copped a burnt mouth from tasting some pasta sauce Kate was making that was red hot earlier in the week. So if there's any passing games tonight, like spin the bottle, I dare say Greg will be looking to kiss an ice cube. Tim was attacked by one of nature's deadliest creatures during the week, a goat. Tim was given one of the farm goats a feed and the other one tried to take an absolute screamer on the little fella's back and he's gouged it. It's not good news for Timmy, who will be gunning for back-to-back -back trophies. And finally, I've brought this one up before, but this week the whisper is that Melanie's yeast allergy might affect how she competes in tonight's games. The poor girl can't eat bread, pasta or biscuits, so if there's a Tim Tam relay, she's going to be sitting on the pine and warming the bench tonight. How in the world could a yeast allergy affect you in the games? That's bizarre. What, what has Big Brother got in store? Well, we'll find out uh, tonight, Mikey. Also, uh, late breaking news. Mm -hmm. I've always wanted to do this. What's that, Big Brother? Late breaking news. <laughs> Right, OK, yes. Uh, <laughs> what's that on the top bloke? Uh, right, OK, no, uh, Greg's cut his foot having a hit of badminton. Oh. So uh, he's got a burnt Serves mouth and a himself right for playing foot. that game anyway. Is that right, big brother? <laughs> right, OK. He's got that. <laughs> Roger that. All right, well, by the looks of things, the housemates are ready to have a good old Aussie crack at it, so let's rack off into the bedroom and see how they're going. <laughs> this is big brother. All housemates of the garden immediately <laughs> stand by the silver doors. What happened to Skipping? Oh. You said that. <laughs> you little bitch! <laughs> you don't let us do it. I did it. Oh, I should go straight out the camera. Get <laughs> 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 Get out of the way already. <laughs> we should, we should. Look, come, right, on. Go, 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 come on. Housemates. It's time to enter the arena. Stand in the blue zone. Greg, your knickers are on the line. I'm going to end up eating some of big. Oh, oh my God, it looks real. Oh, look, they, that's what they painted. Tonight is Aussie night. Yeah. yeah. This None. week, <laughs> you're playing for three prizes. The rewards room, oh, yeah? the authority to allocate household chores, oh, yeah? and the power to change nominations. Oh. There can be only one winner. Prepare to compete. Hi. Oh, that's going to be come hard. Come on, oh, Ozzy, come, come on. on. Yes, there can be only one, only one wizard, winner tonight on Big Brother Friday Night Live. I almost said wizard. <laughs> and and as the arena looks great tonight with Ayers Rock Doesn't in the background it? and there's but, uh, a couple there's of kangaroos that are keeping very still. There's not many left now, is there? Five left. It's, I know. It's, it's really it's pretty shrinking. pretty barren now, so hopefully they fire up tonight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, And that's when you really feel it too, when it gets to that number. And I think because we're getting down to the arse end of Big Brother, only two and a teensy wincy bit left that uh, the three housemates that are nominated this week being Kate Bessner and Melanie mm. will all be out to prove that they're worth staying in the house and worth winning you know a lot, a lot of people are saying that Kate you know she's leading on Tim and you know she's mm. always on, interested in Greg but not getting anywhere maybe she'll leave because of that maybe Bessner will go because some people are saying she's annoying I right. always get a good, have a good judge by the lady that works at the corner shop around from where I live, mm. and she was going yeah, on top about bird. She's a top bird. That you know, I like. <laughs> no, no, I've never met her in my life. She's but. always going on about she. Oh, best no injures. You know, Kate complains, and I said, Well, what about what about Melanie? And she goes, Who's Melanie? Yes. <laughs> and I said, she's Melanie, a you know, wallflower, isn't she, she? Melanie, you know, she is coming out of her shell this week. Got to give her a little bit of credit. No, she's you know, not. She, in the uh, lights, camera, action task. You know, she she was quite fun there. Did a little bit of stand up comedy as well in the house. Oh, I must have missed that bit. Yeah. I think it's known as going underneath the radar, Mike. Yeah, Would you yeah, say yeah, well, what? I agree, Mike. People are I saying that too. Me. We don't like people that go underneath the radar, and she has, and she's admitted that it takes her a while to come out of a shell, mm. but, um, you know, she hasn't got much time left, so 
hurry up and do it if you could, Melanie. Yeah. That'd be great. And she did admit this week during the family dinner and stuff that she's not being herself mm. and that well, she she's worried. Finds it hard to. And that she's worried about being perceived as boring. She well, says she finds it hard to be herself because there's such big personalities in the house who are so outlandish and, and so wild and so loud. So she seems really withdrawn. But she is sleeping a lot, going to bed early in the other housemates, which annoys me and the up late viewers. Hey, also, Mikey, tonight, you'd think the person that wins Friday Night Live tonight mm -hmm. and gets three points off would have a pretty good chance of going all the way to the end. Virtually. Definitely. Are going to make it all the way to the end. So tonight's mm, massive. This is, is the it? last time that the three points twist can be used. Unless, of course, it is one of the girls that wins it tonight and then they get evicted. Ooh, Ooh. that hasn't happened yet, has no. it? No. And that actually happens on, on Monday night yep. nominations. They still get to take three points off someone, yes. don't they? Say, for example, so, if, if Melanie Kato Vesna gets evicted, they'll be sitting there in the uh, actual nomination stage with Gretel and say they, then they take their three points off from there. I've got the word from Big Brother that they're right to go. Let's see what... Oh, in a second, but just before we do, uh, before we see what round one is, here's a message from one of our biggest fans. The big fan? No, Good no. evening, Mike. No, no not, the, not the big fan. The no. big one that we no, use. No. My mum's going in. She's my biggest fan. Yeah, I'm No, no, my not, not, not that big fan. The, the actual our, our, our biggest fan. You're saying my mum's big? Is that what no, you're saying, Mike? No, 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 no. This, this biggest fan. Right. Take a look. Hmm. Good evening, Mike. Fitzy and Bree. Someone from your office asked if they could use my likeness on the show. And as I'm a fan, I've said yes, because I know you wouldn't take the mickey out of me. Keep up the good work. Oh, and Mike and Fitzy, uh, I've been studying your hairlines. Uh, we need to talk. Oh, that's... Oh, there's nothing wrong with my hair. <laughs> is... hey, my, my hair looks great. Thank you very much. Phil. Did look quite sexy. It. That's a fair you call, mate. I am going bald, and I'm glad you picked that up, Actually, mate. I've got <laughs> a bit of a, fan, bit of a tip fan. for guys out there. If you've got a bit of a receding hairline like me, just... Go the sunnies on the head. Hey, I love where's that, that receding hairline gone? How, that's it. How far I've away do you reckon we are, Mike, from shaving our heads? You know when you get to the stage of going bald and you just got to shave it I've off? I've got massive everyone. bumps in the back of my head. Yeah. It's like you're... I've been belted with a baseball bat. I can't but, shave my uh, head. Thanks a lot for picking that up, Bert. Thanks, really Bert. means a lot, mate. I Good love to see Bert. You. Not Good only because he pays you guys out, I just love him. Oh, look, the housemates are ready to go. Sorry, Bree. All right, let's go down to the games right. arena and have a Captain Cook. I'm used to you ignoring me. What's the deal with the game? This is Big Brother. Round one is a Vegemite toast race. You must use only your tongue to spread Vegemite on one piece of toast at a time. Bounce to the other end of the course and stick your toast to your wall. The game is over when you have five pieces stuck to your wall. The slowest player will be eliminated from tonight's games. Okay. I don't know if we can use our hands. You cannot use your hands. Oh, not even to stick. I'm going to be sick. Prepare to race. No. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> now, oh, the funny yuck. thing, the funny thing about this is that Melanie actually <laughs> has an allergy to um, yeast and gluten. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. what they've actually done is replaced the Vegemite with peanut butter and we've had... <laughs> We've had our Friday Night Live lab technicians test it and there is no advantage to having peanut butter over Vegemite. So peanut butter is just as sticky <laughs> as Vegemite. Well, this peanut butter is anyway. <laughs> oh, look, look, Vesna's toast has fallen down, so that means she has to go and get another piece. Yes, she does. Can't just stick the old one back up there. Gee, I tell you what, good memories of Vegemite from when I was a kid. I still don't mind it. I don't remember sucking it up in my mouth like that in big wards and spitting it on the table. Yeah, I used to lick it out of the jar back from where I'm from. Oh, yuck. That's Wish bad. I'd have known that before I lived with you. <laughs> did, did you guys ever have one of those bouncing kanga balls when you were a kid? Oh, yes, and I loved it. You still use yours, don't you? Well, this is not actually even bouncing on it. She's just jumping. <laughs> That's it. Stick it on. <laughs> Mate, if their mum knew they were doing this, they'd get you a good belt. Bounce, bounce, not run. Bounce, not run. Oh, Kate's had a stack. Who's in the lead? Melanie's, Melanie's out in front. And Melanie is very confident tonight. She's so confident she's going to win. She's actually been putting in orders to Big Brother to put gluten and yeast-free um, food into the rewards room. <laughs> Apparently it's really bad. It's like, you know, people have an allergic reaction to nuts. 
Yeah. Well, she has an allergic reaction to yeast, so that's why she specifically requested that she... Well, Big Brother's put in there. Mm. She didn't know what the task was going to be tonight. Mm. Big and Brother's it, put in there the peanut butter as opposed to Vegemite, which and has got a lot of yeast in it. And it also is yeast-free bread that they're using, just for Melanie. Now, they've got to get five pieces up there, guys. Don't forget. And if one falls off, they have to go back and get another one. And All five have to be up on the board. And Vesna is one down on the other two girls, so she's not looking good. I tell you what, me, me and Mikey tried this earlier today, and it takes a bit out of you, Mikey. Done that wheel bugger at the end of that. Absolutely. That's it. And have a look at Vesna. She's a bit having oh, a heart attack there, I think. <laughs> Poor love. What's Vegemite made out of? It's got yeast in it. But isn't it salt, isn't, salt and salt. Don't, don't they get the, the yeast from beer factories or something like that? Is it left over from when they're making beer? No, I you know, don't think the that's bloke, right. The bloke who invented Vegemite got turned down without a word of a lie about three or four times before it actually took off. There's a bit of useless information there for you. <laughs> yeah, from the thanks for that, Rosie. Okay, there's four pieces. Melanie's got one more. Oh, yuck. Now, remember, it's not the first to finish, it's the last to finish gets knocked out. So, once Melanie's done here, they've got to keep going, Kate and Vesna. That gag on her. I prefer crunchy myself. Yeah, me too. <laughs> oh. Sorry to those of you at home eating dinner. Is that smooth or crunchy? Smooth. No, the nuts would stop it from sticking. Yes, it's got to be the same as Vegemite too, don't Why it? Why do you do this at home? And there, Melanie's finished. Here's our winner. Who says Melanie's boring? She was the winner. Clock keeps going. You, you said that. Oh, that's right, I did too. <laughs> Kate's got one more to go. <laughs> Best of not having a lot of luck. If Vesna's still constipated, this wouldn't be helping her at all. <laughs> all that bouncing up and down. How many has Kate got on there? Has Kate got four on there? She'll sleep well tonight, Vesna. <laughs> They're panting a bit, aren't they? It must be really hard work. Yeah. Up till the end. Good work. Come on, Vesna, go. Well done, girls. Come on, guys, I'm finished. Yeah. Ew. Come on. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Vesna's still hungry. <laughs> I need water, please. No, that was Rita that was always hungry, not Vesna. Sir, you want some more? Sir. <laughs> Look at her go. Go, Vesna. She has to keep going because go it's all being timed. She has done an extra lap to what the other girls have. <laughs> she dropped the first piece of toast to poor Darwin. Nice tail. You can see her tail. Friday Night Live Ninja Technicians have done a great job tonight. Oh, splat. Oh, she's just broke her rubber hose. The great Vegemite housemate accident. And here I was thinking because Christy wasn't here, we wouldn't have a good stack. Save any cheek pouches. This is Big Brother. Melanie, Vesna and Kate, leave your kangaroos where you are and return to the blue zone. Oh. Oh, no, Can we play Caps of Water? Oh, You're a tiger. Yeah. Please. Under 100 yeah. meters. Talking about putting a rose in every cheek, a rosy, rosy Vegemite smile all over her face, yes. Vesna. Yes. All timed and uh, so it looks like uh, Vesna's out for that round, but uh, very good effort there from Melanie. She, mm. she uh, had the peanut butter advantage, but uh, apparently the Friday Night Live ninja technicians had sussed out whether the Vegemite and the peanut butter were just as sticky as each other, so there were no advantages there mm. whatsoever. And do, you, do you like Vegemite? I like Vegemite. And do you know that do you? actually... Yeah, I love Vegemite. Because I think you either love it or you hate it, don't you? If, if I, I've had an ulcer before and, and I put Vegemite on the ulcer and it actually goes away. I thought that was a myth. No, no, it's true. It works. Do you know what? And you can also clean your footy boots with Vegemite too. That's a trick for the kids. It, it's... <laughs> Vesna had a lot, of, a lot of fun out there and uh, have a look at her enjoying the Vegemite, probably a little bit too much. Hello. Oh, <laughs> Smiling for the cameras. <laughs> There's an Aussie kid oh, if I ever oh, saw one. I wanted you know to see the face plant there. You can do some really strange things with Vegemite, like my little psycho flatmate, I love you Jackie, um, puts 
Vegemite, avocado and alfalfa oh. together. How disgusting yeah, is that? you can have that? that with promite and, like, uh, tomatoes yeah, on top of promite's it. promite's gross. And didn't Paul from Big Brother last year have uh, yeah. Vegemite and water? Oh, yeah, hot Paul, water all the time. Paul, used to charcoal his toast. No butter and Vegemite. I don't have butter with mine either, but no butter and thick. Yeah, Love like thick. like that thick. It was it was disgusting. And what what's another? Vegemite and cheese? Vegemite and cheese That's is great. beautiful. Yeah, it is good. Love Vegemite and cheese. Anyway, yes. we've got about a million dollars worth of ads for Vegemite in here. You think Vegemite, we, we Vegemite, should Vegemite. be getting a few? Well, it uh, is Australian, isn't it? Yeah, it it's, it's a great Australian icon. And uh, speaking of Australian icons, uh, special dedication to a legend, Bert Newton, coming up later on in tonight's show. You have to stick around for it. It's one of the mm. funniest finales ever on Big Brother Friday Night Live. Looks like our next round is ready to go, so let's shuff on down to the Games Arena. <laughs> this is Big Brother. Hello. Tim. Logan Gregg, yeah. prepare to race. Yeah, this one's going to be very interesting, I reckon. Oh, good effort by Timmy. Where's his tail? Hello. <laughs> oh, a bit of camaraderie as they hit the Vegemite Yeah, there. good sportsman, these two. These two are off to a flying start. <laughs> good change over, Timmy. Keep jumping, Greggy, keep jumping. That's just the typical zinc two down to the cricket. <laughs> Up on the hill there. Go, Timmy, go. Oh. <laughs> Look at this time. They've got three up in a minute, the boys. Keep going, Timmy. Go, Timmy. Go, Greg. you got to put Skippy out of a job. <laughs> <laughs> Timmy is keen to win again tonight, isn't he? We'll have a look at that poor kangaroo. He's lost his tail. He's got a bit extra weight there, that kangaroo, hasn't he? <laughs> Not real kangaroo tails. No. I just want to let you know that, just in case you're wondering. Timmy, his final piece of Vegemite on toast. This and in is record time. This is that beautiful monument Good to Australia work, in the background. Uluru. Well <laughs> Uluru. Oh. <laughs> Make it stick. Well done, boys. <laughs> well done. <laughs> hard, isn't it? Oh. Yeah. Really hard. This is Big Brother. Tim, Logan Greg, return to the blue zone. Good work. No spitties. <sighs> just some water, please. The action was good. I couldn't do it with a couple of you. How's that? I just put hang. <laughs> Melanie. You completed the course in three minutes and 28 seconds. Vesna, you took four minutes and 42 seconds. Kate, you took three minutes and 46 seconds. Tim, you took one minute and 46 seconds. Logan Gregg, you took one minute and 56 seconds. Vesna, you are out of tonight's games. Yay. I'm tired anyway. I want to go home. Melanie, <laughs> Kate, Tim and Logan Gregg, you are through to round two. Divide yourselves into two teams of two now. All right, we'll go. Oh, yeah. Stand in your teams. go head to head in the next round. All housemates to the holding area immediately. Will be good. Well, there you go. Battle Ooh, of the sexes, yes. guys versus girls. But uh, don't worry about that because the next round I hear from Big Brother, it's all about brains, not so much brawn or bounce for that matter. Yeah, mm. right. So we'll be seeing, of course, uh, if you didn't catch it, Tim and Greg versus Kate 
and Melanie. Did you see the lads then too, straight to each other? I think they've worked out if they the final two that they get to the end, they're going to pick each other anyway. So they've got a big chance of going. No, they're not allowed to talk about that anymore. Seriously? Yeah, oh, no. They just give the wink the A, A, A wink. No. Oh, and Timmy, that, and Timmy took in Vesna last week, so he's going to take in his mate this week if he gets in, and Greg will do the same, I reckon. Could it be a party in the rewards room with the boys? Stop fighting, you two. All right, we've got to shoot through to the Thunderbox for a sec. Catch you after the break. You're watching Big Brother Friday Night Live. Logan, Greg, <laughs> sit <laughs> in your chair. Um, I always miss the good ones. Every week. <laughs> G'day Aussies, welcome back. You're watching Big Brother Friday Night Live where tonight we worship everything that's great about Australia. I'm Mike Goldman and with me is Bree who glows and Fitzy who chunders. Oh, that's only after a couple of beers. <laughs> oh, no. You know, men at work, women glow, men chunder. Oh, it's the men at work song. Did you hear song? the thunder? thunder? You better run, you better take cover. Stop if you've just joined us, <laughs> we've just lost Vesna from the last yeah. round, which, which leaves four. Big Brother has asked the four housemates through to the next round to form themselves into two pairs. Tim and Logan Greg teamed up against the girls, Melanie and Vesna panel. Who's going to give it a good touch-up tonight? I'm going to back Melanie and Kate. Mm -hmm. Good, because I'm going to go the blokes. Of course yeah, you are. As usual, you go the blokes every week. Go the boys. You're shocking. No. Yeah, well, I mean, the, the next round, I, I have it on good authority from Big Brother. It's uh, more brains, not mm. brawn and bounce than the last one we saw. So it, it, it'll be good to see oh, well, the I'll girls the might then. have an advantage. Oh, can, I, can I change? I'm very know. sad to see Vesna out. I hate saying this because every time I've said this on Friday Night Live in the past, the person's got evicted. But I love Vesna. Well, Vesna. See, she... I said I like Constance. She went. Yeah. Then I said I like Geneva. She went that week. Then mm. I said I... Like Dean. Oh, is it Bree's kiss of death? Yeah. Whoever Bree oh, says go. You control. So, I, I do you control You're the charge. evictions, do you? <laughs> uh, Maybe the voters go, right. Bree likes them, let's get them out. No, actually, I heard you talking earlier today about Kate. You're not a big fan of I, Kate this week. I, I must admit, I'm mm. really off Kate this week. Ooh. I won't go into too much detail, but she said a few things during the shows this week, which I just think were very narrow-minded. Well, we need her in the house. Why? If Why Kate, yeah. If Kate leaves, I reckon it'll be a I, lot I more have well, I Tim have very... to stare at all day yes. and fall in love with. And... No, but I think she, she she brought up some very controversial issues and I have very differing opinions from mm. her and was very disappointed, so I'm very off Well, we game. wouldn't want to disappoint she Brie. Did. That's right, but I don't think she's just disappointed me. I think there'd be a lot of people with the same opinion. Well, all the, all the girls aren't happy with the guys in the house, uh, particularly Kate and Vesna, think that the boys in the house, uh, especially uh, Greg and Tim, are lacking an understanding of the opposite sex. Would you agree? But all of them are. Our guys were last year too. <laughs> yeah, but isn't it funny to see that the girls don't go to the blokes for advice to find out more about blokes? They, they, they go the to the girls think that they know about everything. And yet I used to ask you the all the time, didn't I, Franzi? <laughs> What's, well, I, what's well see, idea? don't ask me because I've got no idea, but there's other blokes in the house that would. Yeah. I right. guess because you're both in love with each other. Well, Big oh, Brother whatever. told two pairs <laughs> to pick balls out of a box to decide who will go first and who will go second. Then he told the second team that they must stay in the holding area so they don't learn anything from the team that goes first. No advantages here. Let's go down to the games arena to see what they've got to do. Come back and slide it on. This it is Big Brother. The next round is the Aussie quote relay. One at a time, you must put on a pair of underpants, race to the hill's hoist and swap your underpants for the quote which matches the celebrity at the top of the board. You must then return to the board and slot it next to its famous face. When you reach the red zone, tag your partner, who will put on the next pair of underpants and race to collect the next matching quote. The game is over when all quotes are correctly matched to all celebrities and there are eight pairs of underpants hanging on the hill's hoist. The fastest team will go through to the final round. Tim and Logan Gregg, prepare to race. Layton here, it's first. I can see it's come on. It's the first to the left. Oh, you go, go, go. Yeah, you go, you go. Put down the other... <laughs> 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 
Put on your undies, Creed. Go, go, go. Oh, one of these ones that goes out without his undies, eh? Oh, that's so nice oh. of you to lend your really undies tonight, Bree, to the, oh. uh, the crew down there. I at least thought you were going to say okay. fries, you then. <laughs> yeah, it looks like one of those wilderness koalas, don't they? They collect the money in the street. Call me crazy, Mike, but I'm not used, used to wearing wire fronts. <laughs> I wondered why you wore wire fronts. Give you good aeration or something. He's got them on backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Take your on He's off. a bit slow. <laughs> hey, look, he's like you, Fries. He's got his bum hey, in now. Oh! Pull your pants up, you silly... Pull your underpants for the quotes. Oh. Return to the hill's hoist. <laughs> <laughs> Go, Greg! Pull up your pants, you silly koala. Swap hey, you were undies. right. You were right. You shouldn't have backed the boys Gretel. if you're using brain, is it? Oh, if no. it's using brain. Like, oh. A... Oh. <laughs> oh! Ouch! He's out for the rock. He's... He's done an angle. <laughs> They're on your foot. <laughs> he's lost his undies. Oh, now he's <laughs> sniffing his undies. You don't have to sniff your undies. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Looks like they left a bit of Vegemite on the undies. Oh, <laughs> Fryzy. <laughs> Go. Go, crocodile. He's trying to eat his own hand. <laughs> Oh, he went past the clothesline. Good start. He's gone the black one. If you did this in public, you'd get locked up. <laughs> Come on, Leighton Hewitt. Leighton Hewitt Recently just got, got married. married. Congratulations, Leighton and Vic. Oh, look at that one. Go. Next one's on the hey, it's time to go. The G star. It's time to go. Yay. Let's get gilly. Get ready. Listen to the boys panting. Hug, is it? It's almost Hugs, it's time yeah. to go, Mike, on Sunday night because the audience was so Pull naughty. Pull up your pants, bro. <laughs> you get in trouble, did you, Mike? Yeah, got my ass kicked by Gretel. <laughs> oh, it was just oh, fun. Yeah. We're just having a laugh. Where's the next quote? What are they going to go for? I should be so lucky. It's Conor Minogue there. How do you know? Did you guys know these quotes straight away? Yes. Yeah. Because I'm a true Aussie. Sheila. <laughs> yeah, take, it. take your undies, undies, undies up. Oh, there's one on the ground there that the boys might forget about. Crikey. Yeah, no, no, who's that is. What are you doing? He's trying to see. Step. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Oh! his head. The quotes have to be in the right order. That's why I was looking around for the crikey one. Steve Irwin was next. <laughs> like, if I was in one no, of those suits, wrong. I'd get a massive run up They've and go for a slip wrong. and slide in that, I'll tell you. They just put crikey in Paul Hogan. In Paul Hogan's slot. They can change it. Oh, wrong. mistake. Should have been Steve Irwin. It's a, the next one's the Moira one. Moira? Yeah. No, it's Colin Minogue. No, it's, no, it's me. Oh, You're Moira. It's about Moira. <laughs> Pull up your pants. <laughs> <laughs> when have you seen a koala running along, trying to pull its undies up, saying, no, it's not, it's Moira. <laughs> Moira. And there's yes, Moira. Yes, that's the one that says Moira, Moira Greg. Is at the, actually, Moira's actually in the arena there on the ab door. <laughs> <laughs> With a <her> natural glow. <laughs> <laughs> Who's my next one? Ah, it's Paul. No, it's Paul and Hanson. Oh. I can't believe they got crikey. Please explain. We know that one. Steve Irwin mixed up with Paul Hogan. There's a big difference there. Where are my undies? I'll Who's tell you what. Here? It is yeah, hard to get undies on very Fries. quickly, isn't it? I wouldn't know, Fries. You're like, who are you running away from? No, just, yeah, like, you know, a couple of times when the cops have been chasing me and I've got to put the undies on, it's hard to get them on really quick. Hang on. <laughs> How come your undies never fit you last year on Big Brother Fitzy? Um, Fitzy! They're very no, stretched. Mate, they're my comfy undies that I go to bed in. Not they're to very, oh, all right, fair enough. Do you like having them loose? Sizes yeah. too big, but they're very comfy when I go to bed. I'll swap yeah, you don't want to be cramped. Oh. No. I get it. Swap over home yeah. from the crocodile hunter. Yeah. There's only a couple left now. 
No, this is the last one, I think. Oh, yes, they've swapped over Crichton. They get it out. I think the girls might do a little better at this. Yeah, mate. Do you know what this know what running, it? pulling the pants up reminds me of? That that Hot dogs. <laughs> When did he do that? <laughs> well, what are you talking about? He wasn't running. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't have time to run. Oh. Good effort, oh. boys. Good effort. My head nice and work, my... koala <laughs> and crocodile. I'm like my calf. This is Big Brother. Tim, Logan, Greg. You completed the course in five minutes and 31 seconds. Melanie and Kate, this is your time to beat. <laughs> All housemates to the holding area immediately. <laughs> well, there you go, Tim and Logan Greg in five minutes and 31 seconds. They were a bit confused there for a while. Mm. Mm. Bad direction for getting to put their undies up on the hills hoist. It didn't work. They're not going to be hard to beat, really, unless the girls are really crap. No, okay, that's well, a pretty good time still, I reckon. 5.31, yeah. don't get... But the mm. girls have seen what they have to do now, so yes. they have they do have a definite advantage. A few bad stacks there, and one in particular, Greg losing his head. Have we got <laughs> replay? Can we have a look at that? Look at this. Have a look at this. Straight into the clothesline. Oh! oh. oh. Ow. And on the handle, too. <laughs> There is a clothesline there. Well, we've uh, we've lost a couple of housemates from the Big Brother house, Rita and Christy, doing their little appearances all over town at the moment. But uh, now we're going to lose another one on Sunday and we've got the numbers coming up for who you want to vote out of the Big Brother house. So stick around and have a think about who you think should go. All right, we're going to take a short break. When we come back, Melanie and Kate had their shot at matching the quote to the Aussie celebrity. This is Big Brother Friday Night Live. Welcome back to Big Brother Friday Night Live, where tonight's theme is all things Aussie. I'm Mike Goldman, joined by True Blue Brie Amer and Wattle wearing Fitzy. Before the break, we saw a tip. What? What's that look for? No, that's a thumbs up, mate. That's oh. what we do here in Australia. Sorry, out of the corner of my eye, it looked like a finger. Before the break, we saw Tim and Logan Gregg matching their famous quote to an Aussie icon in part of round two. Now let's turn to Kate and Melanie and join them in the games arena. Zone immediately. All other housemates to the blue zone. I can't even see the people. Lane Hewitt, Gretel. Right, let's. Ow. There's Lane Hewitt. This hey, there's is Gretel Big Brother. Queen. You must put on a pair of underpants. Crikey. Race to the hills hoist. Okay, so I've got to get. Come on. Swap the quote. Where's the to hills match the hoist, celebrity. <laughs> Right in front of me. Then return Sorry. to the board and match it to its famous face. I can't see. You're going to have to go first. The game is over when first. all quotes are correctly You're matched okay, to the I'll celebrities. Go first. You go first. And there are eight so pairs of underpants hanging on the yeah. hill's hoist. Yeah, but I can't see the quotes. Melanie, Kate, you have a time of five minutes and 31 seconds to beat. Can you see the underwear, Kate? Yeah. Prepare to race. <laughs> Now, what you saw before is one that Trap they prepared head. earlier. Yeah, That's what it's got to look like up on the board there. <laughs> Famous I can't see where it's written. Pull your dacks up, Kate. You can where? Pull. But I can't see anything written on here. It's very difficult oh, to see what? through the heads what? of those costumes. Hey. As you can see, another stack. I can't take the underpants off, Kate. Oh, but I can't see any words. Gee, the Where's girls don't look confident. Got a blind What's koala. What's that? Crikey. What's that? Oh! Oh! Here it is! Here it is, Lake Hewitt. Quote number one. Come on! Coming! You got underpants on? Leighton might yeah, even be home. Go, come on to the girls to beat the time of five minutes 31. I can't see! Right now! Oh. <laughs> what? Actually, Look at all the things that she says house. when it's time to go. Maybe it's time to go. Yes, she's got it. Well done, Mel. Oh, but Kate's still trying to figure out how to Are put it okay? into the slot. Come on, love. Oh, yeah. come on! Come on, <laughs> Kate. I can't get this thing in. 
Oh, okay. Kate's got to get her new undies on too. Yeah. What are you doing, Vesna? Melody. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Come on, a nap. Like up three. What does alligator man say? Um. Come on, little schnappy. Um. What's up? Get your un. Oh, oh, Kate's lost her head uncle. again. Oh, isn't that a real koala? Oh, that's, oh, that's Kate. Kate. Put on your head. Alligator man, you know. Alligator man. That's it. Take your undies off. I don't know. You know the hills oysters in Australian invention? Yes. Great but no, the clothes are the hills always do that. It's just the clothesline. Did you have a swing on the clothesline yeah. in your backyard? Yeah, you got a couple of good built-ins from the old man for swinging on the... Go, babe! I can't the get this. The old clothesline. Underpants. <laughs> quick, babe. Be really quick. I'm trying. Pick your own okay. dad out there. Go. Maybe into the man I am today. Go, babe. Who She's actually just been to the ashes, dad. Go, mate. She's just got back. What did she say? Like emotion? Locomotion? What does she say? So Read the girls that. have got less than three minutes to go to beat the boys' time. Five minutes 31 is the time they've got to beat. <clears throat> Very hard to see out of the mouths of those outfits. I'm going to have to wash those after. Oh no, she's dislocated her neck. <laughs> Ow. Well, you're going well. Go, Keep go. coming. No, go. Go. I've got to put go. up. Who have I got? Who is it? <laughs> ben Newton. Go on, ben. I used to be bigger than Ben. Well, that's <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a pretty good tactic by not wearing your undies all the way up. Yes. It's, it's not as hard to pull them all the way. It's not as hard to leave them halfway rather than pull the way up. Is that what up. you do in everyday life? What? Wear around your knees? You'd know. Oh. <laughs> Moria? Moria? Did she just say Moria? What is it? Moria is Lord of the Rings. What? <laughs> you may not help or hinder your housemates. Tell them they're dreaming. No. <laughs> what? <laughs> Tim no. just yelled out, it's Lord of the Rings or something, didn't he? <laughs> so throw them off. Let's see what they're saying. Maria. He's Maria. <laughs> no. Quick, tell me. Tell, tell them they're dreaming. dreaming. Tell them they're dreaming. No. What? Keep saying things. What? Babe, can oh, you Bert is not going to be impressed. Turn around and tell me who's after them. We've got Crikey Crocodile Man. We've got Pauline Hanson. Please explain. We've got Tell Them They're Dreaming. Who does that go to? That goes to a guy down the bottom. Okay. Well, something about Maria. <laughs> be quick. <Maria> <laughs> who's Maria? Go, <Show>, babe. <laughs> <laughs> Like You've got, please explain. Please explain. Seconds the then I've got Crikey together. and then you've got tell, tell them they're dreaming. That's got to find someone Falling called Maria heads. to put on his show now. <laughs> Maria can't Sorry, be there, Bill. Ready? No, no, I think. Not yet. Time Go. to buy as well. Then here's Maria. <laughs> Run. Good work. Really good work. Yeah. Keep coming. Go. Go, Katie. 20 Go seconds, on. girls. I was so sure that they'd do it, but no, I guess I was wrong. Crikey. I don't think oh, they could crikey. do it in 20 seconds, do you? No. Go, Kate. Pace. So they have got the swing of it now. Go. I need to pull my underwear on. Quick, go, babe. Put them on. <laughs> Calm down, put them on, go. <laughs> go, they're on. Oh, oh no. Oh, I don't... Oh, oh no, come on. on. I don't think they're we're going to get under the back. Put on your underwear. Put on your underwear. Put on your mum. Okay. Don't think we can get a deposit back from the Can't fancy dress store. Yeah, I'm not helping you. Just put them on. Calm down. Put them on. We're good. We're going well. Yep. This is big brother. Really good. Yep. Put on, on your underwear. <laughs> There's a big brother. Take <laughs> your undies off. Now for that. Please. Yep. Making me Run. sick. Run. Go, Mel. Good work, Mel. <laughs> Run, babe. Good work, Melly. One more. Sprint back. Have we got Yeah. Sprint. Run. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Sprint. 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 Come on. Come on. Stick it in. Down. 
What's the last one there? It's the old it's castle like line. Hell on me dreaming. Put it in. What's that, love? Come back and put it in. You should be able to see like a sponge cake. How'd you make that? Two pieces of sponge. <laughs> What's that in the middle? Cream. You smashed us? This is Big Brother. Melanie and Kate go to the blue zone. I should be so lucky there. No, I that we, we got it we, wrong. We had it all wrong. How could they think that that said Maria, a great Australian icon, oh. Moira? You know, Bert Newton, by as well. It's been like at least 10 years. I remember look. her from the Harry and Ralph oh. show when I was yeah. a little kid. OK, let's shoot on down for the results from Big Brother in the Games Arena. More ear. This is Big Brother. These are the results. Tim, Logan Greg, you completed the course in five minutes and 31 seconds. Please. Melanie and Kate, you completed the course in... Six minutes and 37 seconds. Good work. Melanie and Kate, you are eliminated from tonight's games. Well done, dudes. Tim, Logan Gregg, you will go head to head in the final. You look hilarious. All housemates to the holding area immediately. <laughs> and there you go, guys. Greg and Tim through to the final. Mm. All boys. Mm. Boys club. It's a big final. Very exciting. Mm. Bert is involved. All right, so Tim and Logan Greg are through to the next round. Join us after the break when they go head to head. You're watching Big Brother Friday Night Live. Mike, Fitzy and Bree, someone from your office asked if they could use my likeness on the show. And as I'm a fan, I've said yes, because I know you wouldn't take the mickey out of me. Keep up the good work. Oh, and Mike and Fitzy, uh, I've been studying your hairlines. Uh, we need to talk. You know, I, I take offence to that. I, I really don't appreciate Bert saying that. I'm an Aussie icon and all, but uh, there's nothing wrong with my hair. What's, Sucked in. You guys got burnt by wrong, Bert Newton. What's wrong with my age, mate? Have a look at that good head of hair, mate. <laughs> Give you that tip. It's not fair, really. It's good for head banging, though, isn't it? What's not fair? Dun, 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 dun. Well, actually, this is a uh, family heirloom from, uh, from my great grandfather's. Oh. Welcome back. You're watching Big Brother Friday Night Live, where tonight it's Aussie Night. I'm Mike Goldman, and with me are Cuddly Koala with big claws, Bree Amer, and Galar Fitzy Fitzgerald. Tim and Logan Greg are through to the final, but someone has to pay. Panel, who do you think is going to win, and who's going mm. to pay and be out? I'm going to back Greg. Greg. Mm. I, don't, I don't want either of them to win. Well, it doesn't really matter because whoever wins will take the other one into rewards room. Yeah. So they're know? both winners tonight. Oh, well, one of them might take Melanie. She's never been in before. Oh, that's right. She has a good point, Bree. Hey. Or, or then again, you know, Greg, he might have a bit of a thing for Kate or he's been flirting a lot with Vesna lately. Maybe it'll be her second week in the rewards room. This... We'll see. OK, in the break, the two finalists pick balls out of a box to see who'd go first. Now they're about to find out what Bert Newton's got to do with the final. Let's go down to the Games Arena. Housemates, take your positions. Okay, so we've got Tip to the red zone right now. This is Big Brother. So we can have one the final round is the Burt Newton obstacle course. <laughs> Using a leaf blower, you must blow Burt's hairpiece over the harbour bridge. Through the pink pipe, through the red pipe, up the upright pipe, up the ramp, through the picnic area, and place it on Bert's head. You must not touch the hairpiece with the blower 
or any other part of your body until it's on the green zone. The fastest player to complete the course is the winner of tonight's games. Tim, prepare to race. Yes, Dale, good morning Australia and welcome to the final round of Big Brother Friday Night Live and here's young Tim, who's an odds-on favourite to win Big Brother this year. <laughs> Yeah, these blowers have a bit of power behind them. Yeah, a bit too much, but you can control how much of a blow comes out of them, so you've just got to take it a bit easy. Careful. That, that wig could jump up and attack you. These are lethal things, these. Here we have the wig. Yeah, get it in there. Oh, there it goes. And Nelly went oh. straight through. Dunk straight out the other end. That's about this just for show. You know what? They are very competitive, the boys. I think they realise whoever wins tonight gets three points off them on Monday night. Oh, yeah. Good shot. Come on. Hard. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Give it some stick. Oh, come on, Timmy. Good work, Timmy. Hey. Bird would be proud. Oh. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> He's not going to get a job in Hyde Park, leaf blowing. Come on, Timmy. Go, no, Timmy. Pull out all the feathers first. Looks like a little ferret. Kate had a good tip then. Oh, oh so close. <laughs> Ramsey Street. <laughs> you got to get it up there like a rat up a drone pipe, I tell you. So that's our little dedication to neighbours, because, you know, neighbours' 20th anniversary this year. Yes, week, yes, it? it is. All the oldies back. Oh, Timmy. Kurt's wig is just really tough. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Did Bert's wig just scream? Help <laughs> me! Get away! Nice jump, Bert's wig. <laughs> On the picnic! <laughs> and it's a hey, hey. Oh, Nice work. Oh, come on. And a bit of flock of seagulls look for Bert this time round. Oh, I love time. Well, at least put it on straight. This is Big Brother. Leave the blower where you are, all housemates to the holding area. Not bad with the old motorised blower is young Tim. I think that was quite a good effort and maybe he'll get through to the next round. That was tough. That's a tough game. Me and Mikey had a crack at that today. And I'll give you the hot tip. That was tough. It's tough to do to uh, push your wig through there with the old blower. I don't, I don't think that... Um, I, I don't know. I don't think that either of the boys would take uh, each other into the rewards room this weekend. But one thing's for sure, mm. that the main thing we've got to stress here is the fact that whoever wins tonight gets that three-point twist and it's the last time this year you get the three points. Mm. And that means that that person's pretty much definitely going to be there till the very end. Maybe the last time ever. Who knows what Big Brother's got up his sleeve. OK, well, I think I can hear Bert's lawyer on the phone now. So let's take a break. <laughs> and after we come back, Logan Greg will have a crack at the Bert Newton Assault Course. Maybe. You're watching Big Brother Friday Night Live. I'm gonna kill you, I'm gonna kill you. Sounds like a two story balloon mark. <laughs> stop, stop. I will stop you with my hate. Yeah. Welcome back to Big Brother Friday Night Live. Tonight we've been saluting Australia. If you just joined us, the first two rounds were the old Vegemite. Lick and stick and the Aussie quote match up. Thank you. Tim and Logan <laughs> Greg were through to the final before the break. Tim had his go in the Burt Newton assault course. Next, it's Logan Greg's turn. Before we go down to the games arena, let's just remind ourselves quickly what this show is all about. It's to throw a red back down the shirt of the house, to drop mm. a possum onto the, onto the roof of their weekly schedule and to disrupt any relationships and alliances that might have been built up so far. It's been pretty successful, I'd yes. say. It's not time to knock off yet, though. Let's head down to the games arena and see how they go, or see how Greg goes in the final round. This is Big Brother. You must blow Bert's hairpiece <laughs> through the course and place it on his head. 
You may not touch the hairpiece with the blower or any other part of your body till it's on the green zone. The player to complete the course in the fastest time is the winner of tonight's games. Logan Gregg, prepare to race. Now, overall, Greg has been a better competitor than what Tim has because Tim's been knocked out in the first round oh. three or four times, whereas Greg never has been. So I'm going to keep my money on Greg tonight, I think. And being from Wagga Wagga, he's quite good with a leaf blower, as most people are from Wagga Wagga. Yeah. It's uh, actually a town leaves. sport. Yeah, there's heaps of leaves in Wagga too. Heaps of leaves and, and lots of blue feathers just blowing around in the street. Oh. Where's the wig? Where's the wig? Oh! Yeah. I'd love to have a go at one of those. Yeah, yeah. this looks like fun. Is it alright? Yeah. Next time I'm on GMA. <laughs> Let's take it in. <laughs> Before we start the interview, Bert, can I just try something out? <laughs> Why did you do that, Bree? He does not talk anything like that. <laughs> go get it up there, son. Oh, that's a it's, it's that's stuck. tough. It's stuck right on that little bit. Oh, see, it's, really it's an aggressive toupee. Work it in, work it in. <laughs> work it, work it, work it, baby. We've been taunting it all week. Yep, stay in there. We haven't fed it for the last month. See, look at it holding on. Oh, oh, give us a break. Spillin'. Well, this is what happened to Timmy, so it's going to be very interesting to see how he finishes up, Greg. Come on, go, little Timmy! Get up there! Get up there! Oh. Oh. Hey. <laughs> Stubborn little toupee. <laughs> yeah, clear out the pipes, that's it. Go, mate. Go, you can do it, Greg. Turn in. He's a plumber. His brother's a plumber, isn't he? <laughs> yes. Go, David Greg, would be disappointed. We have a faulty pipe. I think we have some Vesna blockage going on. Oh. <laughs> oh. Get in there! Oh. <laughs> He's blowing the blower. He's, blow <laughs> He's out of time anyway. Logan Gregg to the blue zone. Yeah, you'll get another one. Just oh, you won't. Give up yeah. the wigs. Good work, happy. though. Yeah, it was good. Wigs not happy. Well, it was a bit of an <laughs> aggressive wig there, I'd yeah. say. Yes. Didn't want to get up the pipes. He's a bit exhausted from the first yeah. round. So it looks like Tim may be our winner. Consecutive well, yeah, wins. Yeah. Two weeks in a row. Will he take Vesna again? No. No. I reckon he'll take Melanie. But that means it saves him. He's saved. Saved right to the very end. Well, let's listen to Big Brother and uh, take the final announcement. You can't. Get it in. And then blow it. If you go too hard. But the yeah, because it's got the kink straight up. Yeah. So the other ones are straight. Didn't drop. Probably would have been. Probably. So they're going to give you another go with that blower. Clearly. Uh, that would have been stuff around the same amount of time as Tim was there. This is Big Brother. Is it? Tim, you put the hairpiece on Bert. Yeah. In two minutes oh. and nine seconds. Well done, Timmy. Logan Gregg, you failed to put the hairpiece on Bert within this time. Come again. Tim, you are the winner of the Friday Night Games. <laughs> Approach the podium and pick up your award. Housemates, you may now enter the house. Oh, we want one. I want a flag. 
Advance Australia Fair indeed. Timmy is the winner and thank you very much to Bert Newton for lending us his furry little friend. We'll send it by courier and you should have it by 9am for GMA on Monday morning. Yeah. Well, there you go, Tim. Second week in a row. I know. Good work. I, look at that group hug. Wasn't that nice? I think he just wants to take everybody in. Good on the little tacket. That, I reckon that's... Summed him up now. That's uh, stitched up. He'll go all the way to the end now, Timmy. He'll go right Let's to the end. It. Okay, well, the housemates are knackered, so they're off for a wash. We're going to take a short break. Don't go walk about. We're back in just a tick on Big Brother Friday Night Live. Welcome back. This is Big Brother Friday Night Live, where Tim is a happy little dicky mite after winning tonight's Aussie-themed games. I'm Mike Goldman, and these are my two mates, Bree and Fitzy. The housemates are back in the house, showering down and generally recovering from the games. So while they're doing that, let's look back at how the evening's events went down and how Tim came to win. Bree, talk us through the first event. Mm, well, actually, round one was good. I enjoyed it. Did you? I loved it. Absolutely wicked. And my replay is actually of Vesna, Kate and Melanie getting stuff all over their face. Mm. Really, really bad table manners. So have a look. Yeah. Messy. Bad, bad. I would have expected more from Prim and Proper Kate. <laughs> oh, and the grunts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I see the purple oh, version more. <laughs> Bring that brother on the well. Is there another one? <laughs> <laughs> there is. Round two, uh, Mikey. It was the uh, the Aussie sayings relay. Gee, it was funny, wasn't it? <laughs> and uh, this is Melanie here. She didn't get her undies up. They're around her ankles. <laughs> Have a look at her go. Her mum's chasing her down the street because she just got caught with her boyfriend there. Look, her undies... So that was the hilarious one there, round two. Great replay. You don't have any more? No. Nah. Oh, good. That was it. Good. Hey, thanks, Mike. Good that night. was my highlight for the night. <laughs> well, I've got a replay for you. Actually, the final round, probably the most hairiest round we've ever seen on Big Brother Friday Night Live. Greg didn't go so well. But Tim wrecked the picnic. I was going to go in there and have a nice little picnic late tonight. Celebrate our second last Friday Night Live, and there he goes, winning the game by giving Bert Newton a flock of seagulls. Day, Bert. Was it going to be a romantic picnic with uh, me? Yes, no, oh. with Ditsy. <laughs> I'm actually just Don't with me and second. our two pays. <laughs> okay, who should stay? Who should go this Sunday? Get rid of Kate, keep Vesna. Ditsy. Oh, that's a tough one. Melanie's too boring for me. Yeah? Yep. Melanie's got your vote? Mm, okay, yeah. Fair enough. All right. No reasons you like um, to be... you know, I, I, You know, Kate has upset me a bit during the week too, but I think we need her in the house. Um, if she goes, it'll be a bit boring, I think. I think she's good value, Need her in Kate. there to offend a few people. No, so, no. Well, well, so if, if we don't lose Kate uh, like you want, Bree, then uh, what happens if we lose Melanie or Vesna? Well, no, Melanie and Kate, either of them, I think we could probably afford to lose. I just think Vesna, like, is the life of the party at the moment. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Keep Vesna in. OK, fair enough. Who do you want out of the house this Sunday? We're down to the last few. So you hold their fates. Some worried people, uh, uh, their fate is in your hands. I say it every week, but remember, sometimes the housemates you hate are the ones you love watching. These are the numbers. If you want to bugger off Melanie, dial 1902 555581 or SMS Merner to 191010. To make Pessner shoot through, dial 1902 555578 or SMS Bessner to 191010. To send Kate Bush, get it? <laughs> Mm. No. Dial 1902 555563 or SMS Kate to 191010. Voting costs 55 cents. More from mobiles. Voting closes 8 p.m. Sunday Eastern Standard Time. For terms and conditions, go to bigbrother.3mobile.com.au. Let's have a little look down at the house and see what they're up to now. Back in the house, looks like Big Brother is about to call Tim to the diary room where he's about to find out who Tim is going to take into the rewards room with him tonight. Ooh, the Who's it going to be? Before we go to the break, let's go back to the house. This is Big Brother Friday Night Live. Mate, it's your decision. I'm not going to... No, no, I just... You know, this you... is Big Brother. Mate, yeah, you're not... Tim, Logan Gregg, to the diary room. Tim, bring your trophy. Oh, oh I know what he's going to do. Nah. He's going to get you to Logan Gregg. He's going to what?
Hey, welcome back. You're watching Big Brother Friday Night Live, Aussie Night, and a bit of controversy in the Big Brother house. Ooh. Ooh, controversy, yes. Uh, Big Brother has called Greg and Tim to the diary room because Big Brother's reviewed the tape and thinks that there might have been a little disadvantage there for Greg with the blower. Might have been a bit of blockage in the old pipes. The feathers had blocked the pipe. Yeah, so uh, oh, what, right. the, what yes. the boys have decided to do is rock off. To decide oh, like who wins. A rock off. No, no, rock off. You know, oh, pa right. paper, scissors, rock. <laughs> to decide <laughs> rock who is off. going to be the winner tonight. So yeah. let's go over to the house and see who they decide who wins and who they decide to take to the rewards room. She's been, she's been talking and talking about it. Tim, Logan, Greg, Big brother. I love you, brother. Big brother has just inspected the upright pipe used in the last round. Big brother has discovered. The pipe was blocked by feathers. Ah. Logan Greg, this made it impossible for you to compete fairly. Therefore, the winner of tonight's games will have to be decided in a different manner. Oh. <laughs> Rock off. Tim, Logan Greg, you will rock off. <laughs> Determine the winner of this week's games. Oh no! <laughs> Big brother. Oh no. Um, well, let's make the fact who we get loses goes in. There can be no discussion. You have to rock yeah, off. Yeah, obviously it has to be now. <laughs> rock off. Um. Oh, but he's a rock off king. No, I'm not. Right. Either way. All right, here we go. Hang on. Are you gonna see. do the? Can you do the one, two, three? And we'll, yeah. Yes. Right, mate. Good luck. <laughs> okay, okay. Hang on. Are you ready? Yeah. One, two, three. One, two, three. What well done. Tim, you are the winner of tonight's game. <laughs> Thanks, big brother. Well done, Logan big Greg, gosh. return to the lounge. <laughs> 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 Oh, there was a, the upright pipe was blocked, so it made it impossible for me to um to go up. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So what does that mean? So it was impossible it, for you impossible to win. for me to win. Yep. And um, so, so to determine how he won, I did a rock off, and I lost. Are you oh, serious? You are kidding. No, no, I'm not rock serious. Off. It was hilarious. Uh, he goes, I mean, I said, oh. he would have been he goes, really hey, scared. I just went. Rock off. Rock off? Ah! Like, he, I said, how are you going to do it? I said, what are we going to do? I said, you going to make us rock off? And he goes, it will be a rock off. And I went, ah! yeah. And he goes, but you are the king. I went, no, I'm not the king. And First one, both went paper. Second one, I just went rock because I was going to go, yeah. And he just, I was going to kick. paper. I went, and you went rock. I went rock, he went paper. Oh, and he just goes, oh, on him. Because now went, that. Tim. Big brother. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank well, you. Once again, you are the winner of the Friday Games. Feels good. As the winner, you'll have access to the rewards room for the next two nights. You may invite one other housemate. Who do you choose to invite and why? It's really hard this week. Um, you know, I'd love to go with Mel, but I'm going to go with Greg because given what's just happened, I think that's fair. Um, uh, I think, you know, it's only fair that, that um, he got so close himself, so I'll take Gretel's in. Tim, take your cards and explain your decision to your housemates. Thanks, big brother. That is all. Thank you. Jeez Louise. Good work. Good work. So <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, I, look. Eh? Bloody rocker. Bloody hey. yeah. rocker. I'm going to take Greggles in, yeah. See? given what just yeah. happened. Um, I can't believe that. I must admit I had some other thoughts running through my head, but yeah, I, okay. yeah, I think it's only fair there. given the... Um, yeah, circumstances. Given what's yeah. just happened. Yeah. So. Thanks, mate. Sure. Yeah. It's a girl's Thanks. weekend. We'll be having time. This food. is Big Brother. Tim. Logan Greg. The rewards room. room is now open. Lovely. Good work, guys. Bye. Seriously. Bye. Have you a great weekend. Lovely in there. I love it. It is. It's just good to have an escape. Good on. And that's really, really.
Rock off. Rock and off. Uh, uh, come oh, on, look man. at this! Look at this! What oh, are you talking about? Is that you who's talking about? Yeah. 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 Oh, great! All right. Oh, I can't believe you guys actually talking about Yeah. What are you talking about? Oh, there. mate, let's get, let's get these moving. Oh, right. sausage. <laughs> Wicked. Oh, that's awesome. Wicked. That is really All good. Right. All right, let's have a go, let's have a go. Well, oh, let me, and look let me get your beer first. Oh, should we have the Sherpas or the... We have a beer. We have to have a beer in Aussie style. Aussie style, Aussie style. That's fantastic. Well, Timmy is the winner of Big Brother Friday Night Live, thanks yes. to a rock off. And we've been talking all night about how whoever wins tonight... It does look silly, doesn't it? Whoever wins tonight... Oh, look at me. You've mucked up my hair. <laughs> Give me it back. Where is it? <laughs> Embarrassing. That's better. <laughs> Whoever wins tonight, yeah. we've been saying, could make it all the way through to the end of Big Brother. But the truth is, if Tim gets nominated on... If he doesn't get nominated on Monday, takes the three points off someone else, he could be sucked up into the that's nomination right, process. Well, we... yeah, that's most likely to happen because there's only four left. Yeah. We well, didn't even think big. of that, did we? What, are we? what are we doing? OK, time to nick off. Cheers, Bree and Fitzy, for this evening. What are you guys up to this week? I'm actually filming a um, German insurance ad for the week. So I've been brushing up on polite German. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, and nine. <laughs> OK, what about with you, the boys, uh <laughs> With the boys on before the game tomorrow night, and then I'm going to see the big second uh, spot clash on the ladder, Crows versus the Swannies. <gasps> Go Are you going to be torn? Go the Crows. Fair enough. I'm going the Crows, boys. Go, lads. You've both. Yeah, but I'm an Adelaide boy. Go the Crows. No, 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 Go, Roo. Enough crowing while they're off for the night. Life in the house never stops, and I'll be monitoring it on midnight, around midnight on Up Late Tonight. Why not join me? And if you needed more of a hook to watch, we've got another Hammer Down reverse auction underway where the lowest unique bid will score you a 42-inch LG plasma TV worth nearly three grand. The auction closes next Wednesday, and all you have to do is send an SMS bid with the word BID, bid, and then your bid in cents to one... Double seven, double four, double four. That's one nine, double seven, double four, double four. That's what I said. Remember, the successful bidder is the one who has the lowest unique bid. Don't miss the Daily Show this Sunday at six thirty, and the Eviction Show straight after it at seven thirty. And next week, a very special Big Brother Friday Night oh, Live with a surprise guest. Surprise guests, even plural. Incredible prizes as well, even winning lottery numbers. Actually, that last bit might not be true, <laughs> but don't miss it anyway. Have a good weekend. We'll see you next Friday. Bye-bye. Ah, here. Please make us have something tomorrow night. This is Big Brother. Housemates, Big Brother has decided to throw you a barbecue. Yay! The storeroom is now open. <laughs> Thank you. Please be chicken. Please be chicken. 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 chicken kebabs. Chicken? What is it? Where is it? Where is it? <gasps> oh, oh, the salad. We got salad and onion. Oh. Guys, we got bowls. Yes. <laughs> and we got corn and heaps of onion. Oh. Fresh salad. Is it? Oh, Never leave the Big Brother house. Watch 24-7 live cam TV on your three mobile or at bigbrother.freemobile.com.au. Up next, the brand new series, Haunted. Yeah. Oh, cool. Because, like, totally do. because maybe they get barbecue as well. This is an upper part of it. So maybe they don't get a planner, they get barbecue with it. Oh. This is a lap of luxury. Alright. Oh. I'm gonna watch the um the face. I'm gonna wash the old um... yeah, Do you want me to heat this up? I might nuke some of this. Mate, I'm so hungry, I don't care. Yeah. I might whack the old, um, just wash your old hands and jump into a patriotic, uh... This program brought to you from Dreamworld, the home of Big Brother.